hygiene. Oh, hang on, the dogs are going to start barking, which is not great, but there you go. Right, can you see me, my lovely? Let's just double check as I'm trying to get everything going. Refresh the page. Oh, now you can see the ceiling. Can you see the ceiling? Me. That's good, you can see me. Hang on, I've lost my cushion. Can't sit on this chair without a cushion. Oh, my goodness me, what a rush today has been. So, let's hope. So, have we got anybody else with us? Let me turn the volume down on the computer. Have you got sound? Can you give me a... If you've got sound, is everything okay sound-wise? Pauline, can you hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up or something if you can hear me? Brilliant. Okay, that's good. Right. Okay, this is a bit different. The hair's a mess. Really sorry. Had a really busy day and I've literally just finished prepping. This has been manic. So let's hope we get a few more join us. Um, we've got three watching, so I presume that's me, you and Jean. Well, that's good. So I'm hoping we're getting a few more. Have you got a cup of coffee with you? I've got a cup of tea. Do you like my cup? It's a Dahlia. Oh, God, that's good. That's only about the third cup I've had today. OK, that's good. Right. Oh, hair looks all right. OK. Right. So how's your day been, guys? Mine's been manic. I've been helping a friend of mine who um, her got, got a house this week and um, I've taken some furniture over to her and bits and pieces and she's kind of unloaded it out of the car and we sat and had a chat and then I've come back and I've worked on my launch all afternoon. I got Who else have I got? Shirley. Good evening, Shirley. Are you all right, darling? So we've got Shirley Cuff from Plymouth that has joined us. Some of you have met Shirley if you came to my day at Columpton the other week, the other month, last year. Oh my God, it's last year. Where has this year gone? Well, lockdown really, hasn't it? But there you go. Um, I've got lots to show you tonight. Um, and when we get a few more join, because we've now got, oh, hang on, who else have we got? We've got three. I wonder if that's me as well. I'm so confused by all of this technology oh i oh, got rid of it on the screen god that's not good is it hang on oh there it is again technology is great isn't it if you know what you're doing and i kind of fumble my way around this um and do you know what i've discovered that you can see my gray hairs really badly on camera you can see my gray hairs really badly that's really quite something really but there you go so um yeah going to be going and getting some of that Claire old stuff I think to do my hair but there you go so have you got your new catalogues with you because you are going to need those so if you haven't got your catalogues go and get your catalogues that is a really important thing so you need this one okay and this one okay so if you haven't got your catalogues make sure you've got your catalogues you do need both of your catalogues oh and i've got something i've got to grab something else hang on oh, right where's it gone where's it gone where's it gone where's it gone oh my gosh what have i done with the box hang on right, that's that one okay so i need that as well right so oh i'm back again right has everybody got the catalogues yes no yes let's wait for a few more to join hang on we're up to five that's good Good evening, everyone that's just joining us. Um, you do need your catalogues, both of the catalogues I've sent to you. So um, I'm hoping that we get a few more join. Oh, we're down to four again. Somebody didn't like me. They've gone. That's not very friendly, is it? They saw, no, no me, and they left. Um, if you've got any questions, don't forget to pop them in the thing, because I'm going to kind of lower the screen so I can see it a bit this evening. And I'm going to kind of be working stood up, I think, so I can see the screen and answer questions at the same time. There is a prize tonight for anybody that places an order with me over the weekend. Everybody will go into a draw to win a £25 shopping spree on me. Woohoo! Um, I know, I don't know if Sandra's watching, but I know she's got an order to come to me this weekend. So, um, 
Shirley, I know you've got your orders and Marilyn and Helen have got an order which you've kind of sent to me. And I'm gonna show you the poppies tonight because I know you've got a question on the poppies. So I'm, I will disappear and show you that in the catalog so you'll be able to see that. Um, so yeah, so I've got a few questions from a few of you. I've got some great samples to show you. Um, and I suppose we, we've only got five. I was really hoping for some more. But there you go. Perhaps they're all busy having dinner. What do you reckon? Dinner? Is it dinner time? Tea time? I haven't had any yet. I've got a cup of tea, but that's about it. I hope you've all had dinner. But there you go. Right, so I'll tell you what. It's um, I'm making it 7 o'clock on the dot. Is everybody else making it 7 o'clock on the dot? Are we kind of like... Is good evening all... Oh, good evening, Shirley. Oh, hang on. Pauline... Oh, hi Louise, how are you? Right, good, there's a few more, that's good. Jean's there, that's good. Right, I tell you what, I'm gonna turn the camera down. So, um, Louise, you're fairly new to me. Um, I hate doing Facebook Live, so this is my face. The hair is like, oh my God. Um, and I'm used to doing in person, okay? So Facebook Live is a completely new thing to me. So this is completely new. I've never done a Facebook Live launch, okay? So anybody that, um, if you join me over the weekend, I will enter you into the £25 shopping spree draw. If you place an order with me over the weekend, you will go in the £25 um, shopping spree draw, okay? Um, also, some of you have sent me the scavenger hunt from your packs. I'm marking those all over the weekend and I will do a live on Sunday, not quite sure what time, to do the draw for that. The prize for the scavenger hunt is this. That's the prize for the scavenger hunt. Brand new stamp set. Um, it is back on your feet and it's, ca it's a carryover, but this is your prize, okay? Don't know if you can see that, okay? So everybody that's entered the scavenger hunt will have a chance to win that one, okay? Right, I'm going to turn you round and down and we're going to kind of go through the catalogue. And as we come to bits that I've got the stamps of, I'm going to show you the bits in person and the samples I've made with them. OK, right, let's turn you. So you're going to go around and down. Ready? Around and down. And you should. Oh, good evening, Leone. Now, Leone is watching all the way from Australia. Good evening, my lovely friend. Or should I say good morning, Leone? How are you, my darling? Um, oh my God, it's so lovely to hear from you. Hang on, I'm wrestling with the arc on stand here now. Let's, oh, right, there we go. I'm going to start, oh, am I? Right, so you can see it's me, it says so in the background. Hang on. Oh, let's do that one up and that one down. Let's see if that makes a difference. Right, much better. Morning, lovely. It's morning with you, isn't it? Okay. It's about seven o'clock in the evening for us. So, um, but there you go. Right, I can, I can actually see the comments now. This is really good. Good evening, Tra Kathy. How are you, my lovely? Right, Pauline, you've had dinner and walked the dog. Good evening, Tracy. Oh, my daughter's watching. Tara's watching. Um, right, that's brilliant. Okay. Right, Pauline's watching. Show right, okay, so we've got a few. That's really good. I'm here. It's way too, it's way early here creating for my launch. This is my launch tonight, darling. Oh my God, it's 4 a.m. 4 a.m. where Leone is in Australia. I won't say any more. Right, so kind of, these are our two catalogues, okay? Um, so you should all have these. This is our beginner's brochure, which is really rather lovely. And it's got lots of information if you are new to stamping. It explains cling and photopolymer. And it's got some lovely sets. This is using the DSP from the main catalogue and a specific stamp set for here. Now you can order all of these bits separately except for the stamping seal because we have not got this in Europe at the moment. So you can't use the bundle number. You can only use those four products down to the stamping seal. OK, then it's got some more exclusive products. I'm going very quickly through this. If you notice, it's got a set of stamp spots. So if you haven't got inks and you're after eight basic colours, um, basic grey, coastal cabana, daffodil delight, flirty flamingo, gorgeous grey, granny apple green, real red and shaded spruce, that's a great starter kit to get you going. OK, and they are also in the main catalogue. Then from the main catalogue, we've got our zany zebras. I love a zebra. I think they're really cute so there's lots of ways to use them there look and colored okay 
what is cling right louise um cling is a red rubber stamp okay let me show you let me grab a stamp that's photopolymer hang on so everyone I'm going to come to now is going to be photopolymer for very right. Hang on. So the beautiful world stamp is a cling stamp. So what this means is it's a red rubber stamp like this. OK, and it has stickers that go on the back. And these stickers, let me see if I can do this correctly. Hang on. It's going to be that way. And it's going to be that way up. Oh, this is this is stressful on camera. So what you do okay is you peel the backing of one half okay and you line your stamp up and you pop it down like that okay and then you peel the backing off the other half she says making a complete hash of it on camera can't get my nail under it there it is okay peel it off on camera so and it gives you this um so if i grab a block this is now sticky, okay? Yeah, two circle stamps, similarly only. Check me out. So there's the world, and it's the same on that side. So you can see what you're stamping, although it's red rubber and you can't see through it. So that is red rubber, and it's cling because it's got this, this sticky back on it, okay? So I'm going to pop that back in my box. All right, so that's what cling is. Now, photopolymer is hang on this and i've used this one and haven't cleaned it okay so this is a photopolymer stamp it's completely clear look and it'll just peel off should be clear okay i've used mine and it's it's stretchy you can stretch it all right i don't advise you to do this but you can stretch it so when you pull it out the thing um <laughs> Um, it's going to be fine. Does the backing stay on all the time? Yes, Louise, once you've put the backing on, darling, you don't take it off. It stays on all the time. OK, so the photopolymer ones don't have a backing and those ones stick to your block. Let's grab a small one. It sticks to your block like that. OK, and you just use it and then clean it and then pop it away. OK, I was using those earlier. They need to be washed. I always wash my stamps before they go to bed and I use my stamping chamois all my stamp and scrub so this is my chamois it's wet and i clean all my stamps on that and then i wash this in the washing machine or just with a little bit of fairy liquid um, and some tepid water okay so that's that so lots of lots of new stamp sets um coming through all right so that's the difference between photopolymer and um cling it used to be known as red rubber but we've got this sticky solution on the back of the labels so that you it clings to your blocks all the time absolutely amazing so there's a little birthday set in the beginner's brochure and some fruit okay so that's kind of the beginner's brochure and it gives you a bit of information but everybody's got that right back to the main i love this catalog I love, love, love the new colours. So if you open it up to page three, OK, it does give you a little bit of information. So it tells you here about cling and photopolymer stamps. OK, it also tells you about two step stamping about using the markers to colour your stamps. Good evening, Amy, my lovely daughter, stamping off to get a lighter colour pattern building masking and heat embossing now they're just some of the techniques that we use and on the pages that are there they tell you about those techniques okay so if we turn the page over to this page it shows you these are all our beautiful colors okay and you can see some of the dyes in action to create the colors i love this this is the gorgeous gorgeous new um, hang on, it is, let me find it for you, Forever Fern stamp set and matching dies, and it's got the most pretty paper. This stamp set is my stamp set of the month. Do you have the right triangle stamp set? Do I have the right triangle stamp set? Do you mean, Louise, this little one that is down here? Is that the one you mean, darling? Can you type me an answer so I can see? Is that OK? Because I'm watching the screen. If this is the one you mean, no, I haven't got this one yet. I kind of have got a wish list the same as everybody else and I kind of have to work through it. Yes. No, I haven't got that one yet, darling. It's on my list. OK, right. 
so just a quick bit about the catalogue. So we've got dies and we've got punches, okay? Um, and they all kind of have stamp sets to match or die or, um, yeah, they all, all stamps and dies, all the punches and dies, should I say, have stamp sets to match, okay? So turn the page over and we're on page uh, six. Now, kits, if you are a new stamper or you want something to take on holiday with you, um, even if we're only having a staycation, kits are a great way because they are either all inclusive or some of them you just need to buy the stamp set to go with it. So they're a really good way. I personally am in love with the colours in this kit. And although this one is £65, I absolutely love this. Um, I like the stamp set, but to be honest, it's the papers and the bits that I love. So you could just buy the refill kit, which is £21, which I think is absolutely brilliant right I'm going to turn the page over now now I love 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 this set um, this flowers for every season is beautiful um, and these papers are absolutely stunning now to show you the papers I've created a little card let me put that stamp set up there my desk is just not big enough for all of this tonight I've kind of got stuff. I have created a little card because I have used a whole pack of these papers now. Um, oh, I love the gorgeous posies kit. So do I, Leonie. So do I. Right. So I've used a whole pack of these papers. So I want to be able to show you this card. Let me grab a pack of Whisper White and I'm going to put this card on top of it. Whoops. Not the whole screen. Right. So this is my card. OK, on a piece of Whisper White so you can see it. I've used, if you look, lots of squares of this paper. So this shows you every single design. And literally the card was done to show you all the designs in this um, in this paper kit. OK, so that is the. Um, hang on. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear. The um, flowers for every season. Um, Oh, I can't read that. Do you know what, Leonie? I can't read the papers. The designer series paper. So there that is, okay? And it's all down here. So this is absolutely beautiful. It is a six by six pack, she says. And it has um, 48 sheets in it. And it's got all the new colours in it. So the new colours are absolutely beautiful. And one way to use these is also to work with these cards. So each card... If I pull them out, you have two and these cards are also on this page. OK, and you can see they've used them. So each card, you get two of each one. Look, so we've got Magenta Madness. So I'm also introducing our new colours. The lovely Bumblebee. OK. Cinnamon Cider. Just Jade. And Misty Moonlight. And each one has envelopes. On. she says not having picked them all up to match okay so their envelopes are all decorated and lined to match so team those with your lovely flowers for every season and you've got some great card bases and that's just a sample of all the papers okay so i have got the stamp set but i haven't used it yet so the stamp set that's on that page she says is jar of flowers okay it is as you can see a photopolymer stamp set and it's got two bits of stamps in it it's got the mason jars okay and they are reversible stamps so you can stamp with the front and the back of the mason jars okay and um and these are all your flowers okay so they're all stampable in your in your um storage case you can see that those are only single stamps because they're that color but these ones are double stamping so you can use both sides to create double stamping okay they also come with the gorgeous mason jar punch which i have not used yet hence the fact it's still in its wrapper okay so that's let's take it out and show you I've had so many things land on my desk and not enough time to play. So that's the punch, okay? It is, the size of it is just over two inches long, look, okay? And they, cut, they you can get to go with them, these. Let's take one of these out. 
How cute are these? Hang on. There you go. Look at those. So you can make shaker cards. Can you see the depth? Okay. You can make shaker cards with them. Included in this suite also, she says, putting them on her desk, is these gorgeous little gems. And you, they picture them in a minute in the shaker card. So there's all of these. Look at those which you put in your shaker dome, okay? You can, if you stick the shaker dome down onto acetate, you can, before you stick the top of it, using a little syringe, inject some water into it. Good evening, Linda. Inject some water into it, and you can actually have proper water in your card, okay? I've not done it. I have seen it done, but I've not done it. Right, let's move that out of the way because I've done it. Right, so the jar of flowers, they show you here, look. OK, and you can see that they've got samples up here with stuff in the shaker domes. OK, really, really pretty. Right. Moving on to the sunflowers. I love sunflowers. Not my favourite flower. We'll come to that one in a minute and I haven't got my hands on it yet. Not my favourite flower, but I do like it. I love the size of these because don't forget, unless the catalogue says to you something is smaller or larger, then it's that size. So this is my card that I've done with the sunflowers. This was a Facebook Live. It's heat embossed, but that is just to show you some of the, the bits from the sunflowers, okay? And we're using the new Bumblebee gingham ribbon, okay? Seeing someone put, yes, it's what someone's put wildflower seeds in the dome to plant. Yes, that's brilliant. So that is that one, okay? So we'll move on from there. If you want to, let me show you the stamp set. I was trying to be so organised tonight and it's just not happened, but then that's my life. So this is your sunflower stamp set. This is a cling stamp set. So you've got your cling stickers to stick on the back. So this is a cling, okay? And you can buy it as a bundle with all of those dies, okay? So you've got solid dies that you cut out and then you've got decorative dies that you can cut out. So I really love that one. I'm glad it's in my collection. And I will definitely be doing more. It's great. The little sunflower is great to make your own decorative DSP with. So that's really beautiful. Right, let's pop that to one side. I have a feeling that everything is going to fall over in a bit. If you could see my desk, it's very, very stacked. Right. So moving on, we'll just move through the catalogue. Yell if there's something you want me to stop on. I've already got this one and I've got this one. I haven't played with it but I will be playing with the mountains, okay? Right, so Shirley, for you, the poppies, my lovely, the poppies. Now, you asked me if the Painted Moments um, um, bundle and the Painted Poppies bundle, if the um, poppies cut out with the dyes. So, these flowers here and here cut out with the dies that go with the Peaceful Moments bundle, but you can buy them separately. So the Poppy Moments dies cut out those three bits in the Painted Poppy set, all right? The Painted Labels set, which comes with the Painted Poppies die, is labels, all right? Good evening, Maureen. So Shirley Cuff, um, the Painted Poppies, you need the poppy moments dies okay i'll text that to you later all right they are a carryover and they've kept their bundle price which is brilliant all right so lovely you we've come to lovely you lovely you okay this is a new stamp set and it's got a lovely new punch to go with it so this is the punch it's got two different tag toppers and the sizes are an inch three quarters of an inch and half an inch, okay? Let's pop that to one side. If everything fall, doesn't fall over, I should be very surprised. And I wanted to introduce the new colours to you and also show you the, um, the little flower punch, the mini flower punch that's carried over. You can see mine's now becoming well-loved. Um, you, I've used that to demonstrate my new in colours, okay? So these are the in colours, yet again. So this is my card 
and the inks have only just become available to the demonstrators so we didn't have them in pre-order so I've stamped each one of these with Versamark and let it dry and it looks like I've stamped colour on colour but it's actually Versamark so the label is done with the with the punch and it's the opposite label look to the the top what I've done so we've got all the colours cinnamon cider misty moonlight bumblebee just jade and magenta madness a little bit of each of the ribbons and you've got the in colour dots at the top okay and then this one I kind of want to change it up a bit let's turn it the right way so this is my other card so again I did they're four inch strips where I've done the top and the bottom I've just punched my flowers out and given them some shape and added the ribbons and kind of um you thought so, but Marilyn and he Helen. Darling, if you want poppies, it's your money. You can buy poppies with what you want. Uh, Marilyn and Helen don't have to use them, but that's entirely up to you. I don't want to cause a row. I love my poppies and I will be using them for um, because they're going through um, all the way through to next year. I will be using them um, for um, remembrance. Right, so that's our in colours. OK, so let's pop that to one side. And this is a really lovely stamp set. It's got beautiful, beautiful sentiments. It's, it is, again, a cling, Louise. So it's got all its labels, look, ready to put on. You don't have to put them on if you don't want to. It does work just using the foam. You can stick them on. Look, let me show you. Find a block and they stick just as well. And you can stamp them just using that. You don't have to stick your labels on. OK, so the sentiments, I think, are really beautiful in this. And it comes in a bundle with the punch. Um, miles apart, but still in my heart. Um, you're my person. Um, just because... Um, cherished friend I think it's a really great stamp set just for at the moment you know kind of we're apart from other people and these are nice sentiments and just really nice images um, especially stamping in Versamark colour on colour so that's a really beautiful stamp set kind of loving that one and I love love the punch as you can see they've kind of done similar down here and created your bookmarks now this <clears throat> I don't do man cards I haven't got a man I don't do man cards, but I am in love with this suite. I'm a traveller. I like to explore the world. And this, for me, is beautiful. I love the colours. Um, cinnamon cider, um, bumblebee, crumb cake, mossy meadow, misty moonlight, early espresso and brass. Um, this is... Let me show you. It's going to be shiny, so I'm going to apologise this is the new brass, look at that, sparkly, sparkly, um, the new brass foil paper, absolutely love it, I haven't cut into it yet, I absolutely love it, but I have used three quarters of my pack of my DSP um, for this, this set, and um, I've done quite a lot with it, and I wanted to show you this, because it is, it's a beautiful, beautiful set let me find if I can find the dies to go with it because I've put them in my box right so um I did do my Facebook live with this this week and um absolutely lovely it's amazing the people you meet when you explore the world Leone I cannot wait darling to meet you on one of these trips again um that co those coffee hours that we spent on board the ship um, what's DSP? Designer Series Paper, Louise. It's the pretty paper that you can buy from Stamping Up. Um, it's commonly known as DSP for short. So it's the pretty 12 by 12s, um, 6 by 6s. So yeah, um, that's kind of what, so demonstrators will shorten it to DSP. Okay. So it says, um, for instance, down here, it says World of Good Speciality Designer Series Paper. So DSP is short for Designer Series Paper. So this is the stamp set. It is a cling, like I've just showed Louise. You put that on. I can peel it back off again. Okay. So as I've got that one with the cling on now, cling on, it's not from um, Star Trek, cling on's on the starboard bow. I'm going to pop that down that way so that it will, I will always be able to get it out gonna pop those on there for a minute so that's my cling okay um and this is the dies it comes with love these okay now i was explaining this yesterday to um was it only yesterday gosh it was to my um ladies that were watching a facebook live yesterday morning and there's two really interesting bits in this set there's this bit 
which gives you this effect, okay? Apparently, it is genuinely some coordinates. So it's that way up if I've got it the right way up. So it says, hang on, uh, 55 something. Or perhaps it's... Oh, I can't read it. No, it is that way because the numbers are that way. Um, so apparently, this is ship's coordinates or something. So this is the way you do it. So that's this one. And it debosses your paper. So it, it stamps the images into it. OK, then this one actually cuts this out. What an amazing border. So in this die set, you've got detailed worlds. You've got a, a circle to cut your stamped images out, which I'll show you those in a minute. You've then got your bases for your two kinds of domes. You've got your ink stand for your feather pen and a swirl okay so that's kind of lots in there i've got some worlds stamped somewhere hang on so that's your worlds stamped okay tracy hi tracy and be very careful when you stick these in your domes because um when i first did my card i had to actually check online which way the worlds went up because honestly i didn't do very well at geography at school so um geography is not my strong suit so any of my friends that are watching that are going to kill themselves laughing because i had to check but um at least i'm being honest and saying look check which world way you wrote love the martini glass type it doesn't that look like a, mart a martini glass it certainly does so hey girls not only could this set be used as um as a as a thing but you could make that into a martini glass and perhaps put a couple of cocktails um, on a card with that very good leone i hadn't thought of that i'm gonna do that thanks darling absolutely love that right let's put that to one side and i'm going to show you what i've made so this was my facebook live yesterday oops half of it's on the floor now this was my facebook live yesterday so i've used soft suede used some of the amazing dsp look at the sparkle two globes the martini glass look and this is the um, you look, the dies come. Yeah, the dies are amazing in their pouches and they stay in there. This is the suede ribbon and it feels like suede. It is absolutely beautiful. It really does feel like suede. You'll see it on another project in a minute because I'm in love with this. So this was my card and I've stamped the, um, the compass and it does have north, south, uh, east and west on it. So that's two two takes on that card. OK. So then I wanted to be able to show you all of the designer series paper and the feathers. So this is a larger card. OK, so this card. Good evening, Georgia. This card is uh, made with cinnamon cider and I've stamped with bumblebee. It's got the suede ribbon and one of these gorgeous little buckles. Can you see that buckle? How gorgeous is that? OK, I'm going to show you another way to use that. But this is the backs and fronts of the designer series paper. So front and back 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 so that's kind of all of the designer series papers and look at the detail in that feather how absolutely gorgeous is that okay so that was just this afternoon one inch squares really simple card uh one two color inks and just some designer se series paper really simple so that's that one now um this was my big project it took me all day yesterday um, mainly because I had a brain fart actually and couldn't really focus. So this is my big project. Let's just put the um, Whisper White back under there and perhaps you'll be able to see this. So this is what's commonly known as a traveller's notebook. It's not my design. Um, it is a um, lady called Sam who designed this. And um, I kind of watched her tutorial and went, well, I, I want to do it different. I don't only want two pockets and this. I want this and this. So I changed it up. A lot of people have elastic around their traveller's notebooks, but I didn't want to. It also, can you see it's got loads of inserts inside? Let's see if I can tip it up properly. There you go. So it's got lots of inserts and a book. And this is the back. OK, so it's got a little hole here where the ribbon's coming out. OK, good evening, Gail. So opening this up and this really does feel like suede, like um, like they would have tied a, one of these notebooks years ago. So you open it up. OK. And it's got a pocket here, so you can put stuff in this pocket, okay, like that. Look, hang on, let's find a piece of card. Let's find a card. I'll put this card. So that will slide. Let's put it that way. That will slide in there like that. So you can put receipts and things in there, okay? Um, I've got another piece of card. 
Oh, what have I got? Oh, these will do. So, okay, so you can also, each of these have got pockets, look. So, but I've used all the designer series paper to showcase the designer series paper. Okay, look how sparkly these are. And then again, I've used one of these little buckles um, and it's, I'll show you what they're out of. They're, um, they are the antiqued corners and sliders embellishments. So you've got these beautiful corners, okay, which I did feature on this card. So you can see there's one in the corner, look. What glue did I use for the journal? Tracy, I used um, tear tape, so our tear tape, um, but I did also use some red tape, which is from Amazon, um, just for the really strong bits. But, but putting the pages together, I actually use Tombow because I tend to use Tombow for almost everything, all right? So that's the antique sliders and the suede ribbon, and I've used through that. This was just a notebook I had at home. Thanks, Leonie. I've covered it in um, cinnamon cider and stamped it, and then I've just topped it and bottomed it, and then you've got notes to do. So if I was going to jet off and meet anybody this year on a stamping up holiday, ha ha, which we won't be because everything's cancelled, but we won't talk about that. Um, that's what I would be taking because it's got eight sections. So for every day I went somewhere, I could put all my receipts and my travel tags and everything in there and write notes in my journal. So when I came home to scrapbook, everything was there. So that's my travel journal. OK, so this is using the world of good. I absolutely love this suite. Um, and as I said, I've used um, three quarters of my pack of paper already. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's beautiful. So that's actually the stamp set. Um, you can see they've made a travel case. Guess what's on my agenda for tomorrow? Woohoo! Going to be making one of those. Right. I'm just going to kind of jot through a bit. I've got this one all on order. So look out for this. Thank you, Tracy. Um, we'll be doing stuff with this over the next couple of months on a Facebook Live. So I'm just going to kind of whisper. I'm going to stop here. Now, this is the um, stamp cut and emboss machine. They are new. They're so new that demonstrators haven't even got their hands on them yet. They do come with all their basic plates. I, I have been asked a couple of questions about these. As soon as I know when they're available, I will be doing a Facebook Live announcement. As soon as I can get my hands on them, and there are two of them, a large one and a mini one, I will be getting them and I will be demonstrating them. My big shot um, blew up and I'm using my big, big shot and it's kind of on its last legs. So um, that will be amazing. So carrying on through, this is new. OK, this is a new one. Um, I can see lots of uses for it for men cards. A lot of struggle with man cards. So I can see lots of uses. So um, Louise, um, this is the triangles, the right triangle. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I be honest, I struggle with geometric. I am going to get it and I'm going to make myself use it because it's out my comfort zone. So this is on my hit list, but it wasn't a, a one this month. Um, the one I am waiting for, desperately, desperately, desperately waiting for, is the peony, okay? This is a carryover. I have picked it um, or got this. I haven't used it, but I will be. So just carrying through the catalogue, okay? Wow. I love this. As a dog and cat person, I absolutely love this. How upset am I that there's not a Frenchie among that? Quite, but I can go with it. I haven't ordered it yet. I absolutely love it. I do know that um, one of my my good friends, um, Charlene, has ordered this as part of her starter kit, which is amazing. I can't wait to see what she does with it because her things are absolutely beautiful. So, and I know a couple of the other girls in my team will definitely be getting this because they're dog and cat people. So that's amazing. Okay. Just whizzing through this one. Okay. It's on my list. Hopefully it's going to arrive in my order this month. Um, because we used Under My Umbrella as our make and take in April. So that will go with the Under My Umbrella punch, which is beautiful. Right, let's move on. I have a project for this lined up, but I haven't got it yet. Now, I was talking to Louise about the, the um, mini punch, which is this one. So, Louise, this is the mini punch that I said to you about. This is the other stamp set that goes with it. So, um, the stamp set that was in the celebration is beautiful, but this uses both of those. So, combining the two will give you loads of ways to use the, these and this punch, okay? So, I will be getting this to go with my punch. So, that's brilliant. 
a couple of questions have come through about this one. I haven't ordered it yet. Robin, who did this, is absolutely amazing. And um, I can't wait, actually. I've already seen some of what she's done with it. Um, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So this is the uh, Hippo Happiness Bundle. So it's a two-step stamping bundle. So you've got your lighter colour and then your darker colour. Your lighter colour and your darker colour. So you're adding detail to your stamps all the time with these. It goes with... Hang on, let me find it. One seven, I'm sure it said one seven nine. Did it say one seven nine? One seven six. I've even got my glasses on. That's not great, is it? Right, so there are the dies that go with it. So you can see them bigger. You've got your sheep's face, you've got your hippo, your unicorn, your butterfly, and lots of shaped dies, okay? And um, if I'm not mistaken, the dies are stitched, some of them. So that will be really beautiful. The dies alone are amazing. So if you were going to be joining up and you wanted to get a free bundle on the joining offer under my team, this would be a great bundle to put down as your free bundle because you're getting £45 worth of products. So you're getting all of this and the stamp set for free. So that would be a great bundle to choose. Okay. And I can see it being used for lots of things. So that's great. Right, this one. I wasn't going to buy it. I've got lots of flowers and I wasn't going to buy it. But wow. I saw some projects made with it and just thought I can't live without that. So hang on, let me find it for you. This is the stamp set. Okay, the stamp set on its own is beautiful. Wait till you see the dies. So if I said to you the dies, I've got two large sets of dies in them. So not only have you got this, which is the outer layer, okay, you've got this one as well. So you can build up stacked flowers, inner and outer. So you can have lots of different colours. Amazing. Okay, absolutely beautiful. So the dies in them, themselves, I'm like, oh my God, I can't live without the dies. Um, I tend to have a, oh my God, I can't live without it. I need it and I want it. And if it gets to, oh my God, I can't live without it, then I'm really in trouble. So quickly today, because I haven't had a lot of time um, and these arrived this morning, I wanted to show you them cut out. So that is one set cut out. And then as I don't have any stamp and any um, of that sealy stuff, that seal paper here, um, I actually painstakingly cut the blue Misty Moonlight out again because this is Magenta Madness. And um, I painstakingly put all the bits back in. So you can do it by hand. Good evening, Cindy. And that's not a card front. I've just created that bit so you can see what I've done. So that's it cut out in the pink. And then I've used all the bits in the misty moonlight. And that's just one of the cutouts. You could layer the both, okay? So again, if you were going to do the £99 offer and get £130 worth of product along with a free bundle, that would be a free bundle I would recommend because I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and that is the stamp stamped. I've just stamped the stamp straight down in um, Melon Mambo. I've got crushed curry in the middle and this is shaded spruce and it's on just jade cardstock. OK, so that's kind of good evening, Joe. That's kind of um, of what I've done on this. All right. So moving through the catalogue. There's loads and loads of new stuff, far too much for me to stop and talk about everything. All right. I'm kind of whizzing through. A lot of this has carried over from the Christmas catalogue. So a lot of it you've seen. It's way too early for me to talk about Christmas. Now, Ornate Garden, we've had this out because we had it as an early. We've done lots with it. So very quickly, for those of you who haven't seen, the this was a card I did using the stamp set. Okay. And again, where we've just highlighted a couple of bits. So we've done them in different colours. OK, it's a beautiful bundle. Absolutely love it. It's got two different stamp sets. OK, and two different sets of dies, which are absolutely beautiful. We've used these dies quite a lot in different kits that I've been sending out and the girls absolutely love them. So let me just see if I can find the dies. One, seven, seven. In fact, actually, hang on. I'm saying let me see if I can find them. That could be one. No, it's a majestic mountain. Why is it nothing is where you, oh, that's in the tropics, is where you want it to be 
when you need it to be. Right, I think this is one of them. My, I wish you could all see my desk. It's such a tip. No, that's right. So this is um, Tasteful Labels, which comes with another set, which I will show you in a minute. So why can't... What, see... This is, this is how my life is at the moment, that I have um, all this new stuff and it's kind of layered in like lots of bits all over different areas of my desk because I've been working on so many different projects. Ornate, there it is, ornate borders and ornate, right, and it also comes with Oh, that one. Right, so there is also this really deep embossing folder, which is really pretty. And then these are the dies, as you can see, already well used because they're not back in as they're supposed to be. So these are the dies. Really pretty and they cut out really easily. They're beautiful. So that's one lot. And they're kind of frames. Dolly hates being in the kitchen, if you can see her. And then these are, hair everywhere. These ones and this one, they cut out together. So you have to cut them separately, but they do fit around each other when you cut them. When you've cut it out, it fits around each other and they create beautiful edges and you've got lots of bit different strips. They're really pretty as well, okay? Let's pop them all to one side with the stamp sets i will actually put them back with the two stamp sets so that is one stamp set and that is the other and it's got beautiful beautiful dsp okay put that in this month so but that's that so we've had that for a while it's really beautiful okay this is a carryover absolutely love it so as you know there's loads of loads of offers okay so this month if you are um, thinking of joining, there's a £99 offer where you get £130 worth of product and you pay £99 and you choose a free bundle. It can be a stamp and die bundle or it can be a stamp and punch bundle. Now, I also run classes by post at the moment and this is this month's class by post. It's £30 without the punch or 45 with the punch. It all gets delivered to you, everything you need except for ink and glue and a few embellishments and you will have full color instructions along with kits to make 10 cards okay so this is my stamp set of the month more information do you have the this this punt this stamps this stamp louise um it's on its way to me i will have it on monday this is my kit for the month so you could order this kit with me for the month for 45 inclusive of the punch and the size of the stamp is um, just under is two inches by uh, one and three eighths and the punch will be exactly or just slightly bigger so that's how big that will be I think it's beautiful what they've done with it so that will be with me hopefully on Monday and my kits will be in the post by the end of the week to all my customers so if you're interested in having the kit you get all the stamps and the punch for 45 and 10 cards give me a yell and I'll sort that out for you so I cannot wait for this to arrive. Those of you that know me really well know my logo is a peony. This was the first thing I put into my order on the third. OK, I cannot wait. If anybody ever wants to send me flowers, please send me a bunch of peonies because I absolutely love them. I think the papers are beautiful and everything. I haven't got it here. I can't show you. But I, I just cannot wait to get this. This I was so excited about. So, so excited about. And we all have different things that we're excited about. But that was mine. This is the stamp. It's a distinctive stamp. So it means it will give you all this depth and colouring as in here. This is literally stamped on white cardstock in basic grey. And then they've coloured in around the background. Absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait. This, Louise, is the little postage stamp punchlet. They've used again on this card. So you can use it showing you. You can use it with other... Um, other images okay so let's just carry on over these i've got absolutely beautiful love these did loads with grace's garden comfort and hope i have got it's a beautiful stamp set i haven't used it yet it is a red rubber stamp set that's comfort and hope anything like this okay that either says um uh grunge or tasteful textures or anything along those lines and anything that has stamps like this in it 
make great background stamps. Good evening, Wally. How are you, my darling? Um, they make great background stamps. Absolutely amazing. Um, it, they give texture and depth to the back of your cards to give your images um, some depth. Really, really amazing. So on this one, you can see they've heat embossed it in white um, and then coloured over it. So it's giving depth here. It's giving depth to this basic grey. It, really beautiful it will be used lots and lots um and it, it gives depth so that's really great um i hope you can't hear that there's a party going on walking up the road but there you go um that's great you could make lots of other things out of that i love that one so this is the free stamp set for your scavenger hunt this month if you've completed your scavenger hunt one person will win this stamp set so that's my um my scavenger hunt one okay I liked this. I like the colours in it. It hasn't gone on my list yet, but I like the colours in it. I don't have any little girls, so that's kind of, you know, but I do like it. So we'll kind of move through a bit. Dinosaurs have carried over. Anybody with little boys, that's amazing. I love the colours in this. It's very geometric, but I love the colours. So again, great background stamps, okay? Some great sentiments in these pages. Uh, the zebras. Don't we just love a zebra? Um, I loved going to the zoo when I was a kid and seeing the zebras. I think they're really, co really cool. Um, and I kind of like the goats, especially the sentiment, you're, you're the goat. Um, greatest of all time, you know. I got you a cake, but I ate it, you know. Way to goat. Happy birthday, you old goat. Great sentiments. Right, hang on. I've turned two pages there. I got excited. Again. Great stamp sets, great sentiments, okay? Really good set of stamp sets and sentiments. These little bits up here, look, in your catalogue as you're going through. If you see bits like that, it says shop the project. It tells you what they've used to make the project, which is really, really helpful. So I wasn't buying this. I really wasn't buying this. I've had to put a second order in and it arrived this morning, but I really was not buying this. So thanks to Tracy Boone who I know is watching. Thank you, Tracy. Um, thanks to a couple of other demonstrators that I saw. And going back through the catalogue, I thought, wow, Tracy Boone's my favourite suite. So all the hearts going up the page at this precise moment are Tracy's hearts, okay? I wasn't buying it. I bought the papers because I loved the colours in the papers, okay? So let me just show you the colours on the papers. And I've kind of cut little strips, so I haven't got to show you huge, great bits. So this is the front look at the detail and the colours in that and this is the back okay so this is the front look at the detail all those colours and this is the back so your colours in this are just jade pear pizzazz pretty peacock um soft sea foam uh shaded spruce and garden green check me out tracy i'm not even reading that and i can remember hang on that's the back did i show you the back of this one i don't think i did that's the back look at though i know ali palmer does not like stripes but i love that i think that's beautiful good evening siva how are you my darling um right so here you go again lots of texture in this and lots of depth great background paper so this pack would do male or female cards absolutely beautiful look at those ferns and again, that's the back, okay? So I wanted to show you how to use these papers very quickly, okay? This was kind of like very quick. And how great the stamp set stamps, the stamp set stamps, okay? So this was quick cards, okay? Let's put them that way so you can see them, although they're supposed to be going the other way. So I've stamped here in soft sea foam and garden green. It's on garden green cardstock. And then I've used two different bits of DSP and then I've used a square of them and flipped them. So you've got the front and the back, the front and the back. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, show you the correct way, but you can see how great is that stamping look. And that's literally inked the stamp and then stamped it down to give you this texture in your leaves. Absolutely love it. Okay, so that's that one. Then this is Pretty Peacock, and I've done... Oh, I love this. I love this stamp. Really, it reminds me of Eucalyptus. I'm pretty sure that's what it's it's got to be. So again, the back and the front of that paper, and the back and the front of that one. Okay, really liked that. Then this is Pear Pizzazz. Again, look at the detail in those leaves. 
really beautiful and literally I've just inked it and stamped it straight down. So the front and the back, the front and the back of the pa the pretty paper. And then I wanted to make a card to show you a bit more. So this is a Just Jade background, okay? And I've stamped all of the various leaves in the colours that I've done them on. I've got a strip of Just Jade, three of the little Just Jade dots, and then a piece of the Just Jade ribbon, the eucalyptus. Yeah, that is eucalyptus. Um, absolutely beautiful. So these are the in-colour dots that I've used, okay? So that's all the colours. So all I've done is popped three of them, not very straight by the look of it, down there. And that's um, that's finished that one off. And then I just wanted to really highlight the I've done this in garden, no shaded spruce. I love this. Look at that. So that's shaded spruce card with a whisper white top and just literally those leaves. Look at the detail in those just literally stamped and then just, you know, a sentiment on how simple is that card. But so, so effective. OK, so I'm loving that sweep. I need to show you the dies that go with that sweep because they are incredible. Um, when I opened the pack, I was kind of blown away. Hang on. I have them out ready to show you. So these are the dies. They haven't been used. They arrived this morning. Look at all of those dies. So... This is a standalone. It's got no stamp. This is a standalone. It's got no stamp. All of these have got the stamps. OK, then these are standalone dies and they've got texture and everything in them. Absolutely beautiful. You can layer up to make so many beautiful cards, male, female, child. You could have your unicorn coming out a field of grass and whatever. Absolutely brilliant. Love, 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 love those. So thank you, Tracy Boone. I kind of had whizzed past them thinking, no, I'm not doing those. And um, I'm really glad that I saw your projects with them. And um, and kind of fell in love with them because they are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I love, love, love those. So look out for more projects coming with those. OK, so let's, let's take my paper out of there. Pop it back in its folder. Everything is in its folder. Everything has its place. OK, so I get so these are the stamps in the catalogue. That really doesn't do it justice. They are so beautiful. OK. Uh, nice new stamp. Hang on, turn the page over. Love this stamp. It's a great background stamp. Right, I'm just going to keep whizzing through now. See if there's anything else that I kind of... Ah, now for those of you who know me really well, I'm known as Bird. So the Birds and Branches is kind of a special stamp set to me. It's the kind of stamp set that if I ever achieve a million dollars worth of sales would be my million dollar stamp set. I haven't used it. It's a photopolymer stamp set. OK, so it's got the nest and eggs and flowers. It's got all of these bits. And again, it's a distinctive stamp set. OK, I kind of think it's a two step stamping stamp set as well. OK, so these little eggs down here, they stamp as one and the die cuts them. OK, so you don't have to fiddly cut three bits. You get them all together. So let's just undo the dies. Again, these arrived this morning, so I haven't had a chance to play. So these are all your dies. So you get this amazing circle die, some great edges. You get the birds, the flowers, the eggs, the nest, so much in there. OK, so much. Absolutely love those. So we will be doing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of projects. I probably will end up doing a book with them as well. So let's pop that back to one side. Sorry, the dog is barking. I've no idea why. So moving over. Right. In good taste. I love this. And the reason I love it is this pack of paper comes with 20 sheets. Um, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I did show it on my live the other day. I haven't had a chance to use anything to do anything with it. This is kind of just to show you, look, the the pack. There is loads in it. So it says, look, in good taste. OK, um, and there are 24 sheets. OK, brilliant, brilliant sheets for male or female. OK, great texture for adding texture to the back of your projects. So you can see how great that is. But the stamp set that is featured here with it 
is called Tasteful Touches. Again, it's got touches and tasteful. So it's really great background stamps. These are great background images, okay? And this and this. And I did Facebook Live the other day and this was the card I created to demonstrate. And I was egged on on Facebook and we ended up doing two flowers and um, this. Now this technique is called hinge stamping and it's a way of using the stamparatus to do things in a straight line, um, which is really, really great. It's a very, it's called the hinge step and you move your stamparatus down. That is on my YouTube channel and also on my blog if you want to find that, okay? So that comes with those beautiful dies that I showed you earlier, all right? Again, I've done cards with this strippy technique where you cut lots of strips and then you stick them all on and then you build your card up. So easy to do if you've got strips of paper, okay? Right, I kind of think, hang on, that's all the new stuff I've got to show you. This is beautiful and new, absolutely lovely. Again, there's loads and loads of new stuff, lots and lots, new background stamps. And then we get to our colours, okay? So every, every colour has cardstock, um, stamping ink pads, stamping right markers. Some of them have watercolour pencils. Most colours are featured in designer series pretty paper. Most have stamping blends, ribbon and trim to match. Okay, so that kind of tells you a bit about everything and how our colours all coordinate. Now this page shows you our colours, okay? If you are new and you want a swatch, give me a yell and I'll do you a colour swatch of a colour you want, okay? This gives you all of our colours. And this shows you our storage. This is as good as it is because I've actually got it. I love it. And then you go through to the extras. So you've got um, our new um, aqua painters. You've got Memento. You've got Stays On. You've got your Versamark. You've got your embossing powders. These are the new stamping spots that I was talking about, which gives you a way to try our inks. Then you go on to your pretty papers, your designer series papers. The colours are very true to life. Absolutely beautiful. All right, then the tools. So you've got your stamp and trimmer and your stamp and scoreboard. I wouldn't be without either, to be honest. Absolutely love them. Specialist paper, um, A4, Whisper White, very vanilla, etc. etc. Um, here are those cards that I showed you earlier featured, and they're also featured next to memories and more cards, which are absolutely beautiful. These are some of the memories and more cards. So these are the smaller ones, okay. All right. And they're all double sided. So these are some of them. And then these are some of the bigger ones. That's quite pretty. So again, double sided. There's stickers in this one. So it's a great way you can do scrapbook albums, but you can also use these. So there's some more stickers to build cards up with. OK, so they're great with the memories and more cards um, and envelopes. They're a very quick way to make um, greetings cards. OK. The world of good ones are just as beautiful as the papers. I'm going to sneeze. Bear with me. <sighs> Only once. <sighs> no, twice. Excuse me. OK, so um, basic tools. There's those beautiful domes, shaker domes. All the ribbons. These are the new in colour ribbons. These are carried over from last catalogue. OK, the glues. Your basics, so your score paper, your stamp cases, okay? And then we get on to our um, um, stamparatus, okay? And um, it, it tells you different bits about here and it tells you um, about the repeating patterns or moving the plates on page 39. So that's the hinge step. Then we go to our punches and it gives you the punches and they are true to size. And then these are the bundles. So these are the punch bundles that you could choose one of those for free on the joining off for this month. These are the machines that are coming out. When I know when they're coming out, I will let everybody know. These are the, the plates that go with them. So if you need extra. Then we move on to page 173 and these are the die bundles. So from 173 through to 173 nine these are the stamp and die bundles and you can get any of those die bundles for free if you join up this month okay and then you've just got the rest of the dies and that my lovely friends apart from the embossing folders is kind of what's in our lovely new catalogue so these ones are new they're half size to fit our baby um new machine and then these ones as well um, and they're beautiful really really lovely so these are new as well 
Okay, so really pretty ones. Dandelions, um, dainty diamonds. The, I love this bricks and mortar one. I didn't get that last time. So some lovely ones there. And then if you host a party and your party value reaches £150 or more, you could, if you wanted, choose one of these um, these sets. So that's the catalogue. So an amazing joining offer. Let me... Um, turn the light on so perhaps you can see me and I'm not in the dark because I am now and I'm going to wish you round and turn you back up so I can see you right let's see if I go back sorry because I'm sniffling now if you can see